Hi and welcome students. In today's computer fundamentals lesson, I'm going to be going over how to keep an old computer running smoothly. Let's get started. So keeping an old computer running smoothly typically comes down to maintenance. And just like you would need to maintain an old car, you need to maintain your old computer. Now the main part of the computer that needs to be maintained is the operating system. The problem that happens is you may be running an old operating system on your old computers. And and old operating systems do not receive updates. So Windows, before Windows 10, they had a few other operating systems, and one of the most popular ones was Windows XP. If your computer is running Windows XP or any of the previous operating systems, Windows 8, Windows 7, and so on, um, the problem you're going to run into is basically that those old operating systems are no longer supported by Microsoft. So you won't be able to get the latest updates within the operating system. So uh, this is where you will run into a problem with older computers. The good thing is you do have a few options to work with. You can download Windows 10 onto an old computer and it is free. Now keep in mind that Windows 10, uh, some older computers are just not going to be able to run it. And so that's where you might run into a problem. Also, you may be charged for licensing and updates um, on a computer in which Windows 10 was downloaded for free. But last I checked, Microsoft still allows you to download it for free. So that is something to consider first and foremost if you're a Windows 10 user. Now another option is to download Linux, which is another operating system. The problem comes that or the problem is basically that you might not be familiar with Linux and so if you haven't been using Linux before you might find it difficult to learn. Luckily there's plenty of tutorials out there to learn Linux if you're interested in trying out a new operating system. Uh, one of the great things about Linux is that it's open source and it is completely free as well so you will be able to download that and it typically runs well on old computers so it's definitely something to consider. Um, now, the next most important part is securing your computer. You'll want to make sure that you have antivirus on your computer, especially if you're running an old operating system. So if you're running Windows 10, you can use something like uh, Windows Defender, which comes with the operating system as your main source of antivirus, anti-malware, and firewall programs. But if you are using an old operating system, you will need to download something to uh, protect against those internet threats. Also, browsers. Uh, please do not use Internet, Internet Explorer on an old computer. Um, Internet Explorer typically runs very slow and you will, uh, you'll be better suited to run something like Firefox or Chrome on those ones. I recommend Firefox. I use that um, as my main internet browser. Next up, maintaining your computer. You do want to shut down an old computer periodically. It's something that you're going to want to do every week or every uh, day if you want as well. Just shutting it down will help. Next, uninstalling programs. Programs obviously take up a lot of space. You'll want to uninstall anything that you're not regularly using on that computer. Remember, the more space that you free up, the better you will be able to actually run the programs that you do use on an old computer. Finally, Disabling programs on startup. Uh, older operating systems have a bad habit of of running a ton of programs on startup. Okay, Windows used to have major problems with this, so um, you will need to disable those programs. And I actually have a video in my Windows 10 tutorial and also my computer sorry my Windows 10 playlist and also my computer fundamentals playlist on how to disable programs on startup. So have a look at that. Finally maintenance tools. You're going to want to run a maintenance tool like CC Cleaner or something else or CCleaner um, to basically round up all the files that you don't use and consider deleting those as well. Alright, finally the last thing and maybe the most important thing on uh, your old computer is to back up your files. Um, old computers have hardware failures quite a bit just because they're old and you know the uh, hardware that's in them is several years old and it's just 
older computers obviously are more prone to hardware failures. So that being said, you're going to really want to use a cloud backup or an external hard drive. I have plenty of videos on OneDrive right here, which is Microsoft's uh, cloud backup, and you can back up pretty much all your files on OneDrive as long as you don't have anything that's really, really big like pictures or um, videos, that type of stuff. That might be better suited for an external hard drive, which you could plug into your device and um, you know put all your files onto that so just depending on which way you want to go on that um, I have plenty of videos on OneDrive if you are unfamiliar with it how to set up an account how to sync it up with your computer and how to automatically back up your files to OneDrive and that can be found in my Windows 10 playlist finally external hard drives those are really good because um, as long as you keep that external hard drive safe and away from you know things like uh, uh, like a like water damage and that type of stuff then those are really good because they can hold typically a lot more uh, storage a lot more space they have a lot more space than something like OneDrive's free version so something to consider there as well so anyway I hope this uh, lesson has taught you a little bit more about how to keep your old computer running smoothly if it has please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel I have plenty of playlists on Word, Excel, uh, Access, PowerPoint, Publisher, and Outlook, as well as Windows 10 and Computer Fundamentals. So if you want to learn more about any of those things, please check out the playlists on my channel. They are ranked in easiest to most difficult to learn, so it should just be a pretty easy run through if you want to learn more about those things. Thank you for watching, and have a great rest of your day.